Well, after 25 years of development, NASA finally launched the James Webb Telescope this past weekend. Now, Paul Gross has been following this mission, mission for much of that time and explains why this telescope will revolutionize space research. This uh, telescope is at the very edge of what's possible today. Thomas and I chatted via Zoom from French Guiana, where the James Webb Telescope launched early on Christmas Day. He says that the first thing to know about Webb is that its light-collecting mirror is six times larger than the one on the Hubble Space Telescope. Why is that so important? And if you take a mirror that's twice the diameter, the collection of light is four times uh, the speed. So the bigger the mirror, the fainter, more distant objects you can see, and with better resolution. Webb will also observe the deep heavens in the red end of the spectrum, in essence, observing ancient heat. For that reason, parts of the telescope will be kept at 449 degrees below zero. What Webb is doing is looking at the sky in a way we've never seen. We have never looked at temperatures that cold. Another engineering feat was somehow fitting a telescope with a 21-foot diameter mirror and tennis court-sized sunshield into a 16-and-a-half-foot diameter Arian 5 rocket. That was accomplished by folding up web-like origami and then unfolding its mirrors and sunshield once deployed in space. Once operational, Thomas says that we hope to see the very first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. We know how you make next galaxies out of the previous ones. We can observe it in the sky. We have never observed the first stars, the first galaxies. But Thomas says that Webb's holy grail is not galaxies, but the planets within. Can you imagine? If one day we had observations that really looked like potential or nearly certain signatures of life uh, on another world, elsewhere in the galaxy. Oh, it's so great to talk to Thomas, or Dr. Z, as they call him at NASA. The James Webb Telescope is now in the methodical unfolding stage. It's just step by step, very slow. And as soon as that's complete and all of its instruments check out, let the exploration begin, Grant. So I watched the, bl the blast off yeah. uh, this last weekend. What's the point of, of being able to track heat in, in the universe? Well, we may not be able to see visible light, but you might be able to see just the faint parts of the, uh, the heat that was left over uh, when, those, when those stars were forming. They're so far out in time. And by the way, if you're wondering who this is named after, the telescope is named after James Webb, and that was NASA's second appointed administrator and the manager of the Apollo moon landing program. Just so cool. I can't wait for the, the unfolding to happen and for us to get our first images back. Yeah, it really is a game changer. It, yeah. we're, not, we're not blowing this bigger than what it is. It is a true game changer. Yeah, very, yeah. very cool stuff. And speaking of, of game changer, we are talking about maybe some snow.